I bought five dirt cheap harmonicas. Let's see if they're any good. Here we go. Hey guys, I'm Jonah Fox. Today I'm going to run through five different harmonicas ranging from 10 to $25 just to see if any of them are even slightly good. Because when someone wants to pick up the harmonica, my general advice and the advice of most of the harmonica community is to avoid harmonicas around 10 to $20 like the plague. Most of the harmonicas that are in this price range are at least thought to be absolutely terrible and it's generally understood that you need to spend about $50 to get an instrument that is is even slightly decent and even then you're still going to probably run into some quality control issues and harmonicas that are not really airtight so is that actually the reality i'm decided to test a couple of these harmonicas out and find the answer to this in 2023 so to answer this question i needed some new harmonicas so i hopped over to amazon and i took a look at my options and the first one i decided to pick up was this small fish harmonica this has 4.7 stars with 6,000 reviews so are all of these people lying? Let's find out, okay? So here's the harmonica. It comes with a soft case and a little songbook. It's not great, but you know, for a kid to play along with, it's something to get started with. So first impressions of the harmonica are actually pretty decent. It doesn't feel too bad. There's no sharp edges. It has the same basic design as a Honer Special 20. The design is okay. So we'll give it points for that, even though it is directly just ripping off the most popular harmonica. Let's see how it sounds. Here we go. I'm going to start with the chords. My first impression is, uh, ouch. So right away, the tuning is just terrible. Even if you were just getting this for a child to mess around with, I think even your kid would get annoyed and not play it. So I think we can all agree that this harmonica sounds bad, but how does it play? Maybe it's great, right? Well, the single notes are passable, I guess. But I want you to pay attention to how much air is leaking between these reeds, okay? I'm going to play it into the microphone and just listen to the sound of air passing through. All of that is air leaking out of the poorly gapped reeds. Here we go. So you should be able to hear it. This is a very leaky harmonica. So if the harmonica is leaky, the bends are also probably difficult. So let's try them out. Here we go. Most of the bends are really, really difficult to play. It kind of feels like someone took like a wet rag and just stuffed it in my harmonica. Everything sounds muted and you just have to use so much air to get these bends to trigger. So the reality, this harmonica is bad and you should not get it. But let me just play a little music on it. Here's a little blues thing. <laughs> This thing is hard to play. If you actually want to get a harmonica and you want to spend $10, don't buy this one, okay? So let's just throw that one right in the trash. That small fish harmonica was like really, really bad. I'd give it a one out of 10. Absolutely don't buy it. Moving on, the next harmonica I picked up was the Fender Blues Deluxe, this one right here. Now, I used to work in a music store teaching guitar and I would always see these harmonicas and I wondered if they were any good. They were so cheap, I kind of wanted to get one, but I wasn't really playing a lot of harp at the time. And once I did, I got a much better, more professional instrument. But I can see a lot of people starting with these harmonicas and basically based on their reviews on the internet and their prevalence in brick and mortar stores, this is probably the most common beginner harmonica. 19,000 reviews on Amazon at 4.7 stars. So it probably isn't absolutely terrible, but let's actually put that to the test. So first of all, this harmonica comes with a hard case and a cloth, pretty standard stuff. Let's talk about the build quality next. This harmonica 
feels a little bit better and more like a serious instrument as compared to the small fish harmonica that I just reviewed, but it has some issues like the corners are pretty sharp. Now, this is one of the things that I usually don't like about cheap uh, Chinese produced harmonicas, and it is definitely the case on this harmonica. It's probably not sharp enough to cut you, but it definitely isn't comfortable. Sound wise, this harmonica is a good step up over the small fish harmonica, which does sell at pretty much the same price. This harmonica is all in tune. At least we have that going forward. Here we go. The chords sound fine, so that's great. Now let's look at the single notes and the general air leakiness, okay? I'm gonna just play blown and drawn on every hole. So it's absolutely not bad. It is nowhere near as leaky as that other harmonica. So, so far, so good. Let's check out the bends next. Here we go. Let me play you some music on the Blues Deluxe. Here we go. The bends on this harmonica are okay. They could be better. And with some reed adjustment, I'm sure you can get this playing like a higher tier of harmonica. But I would say if you're learning how to play the harmonica and this is the only thing that you have and you're learning how to bend on this, I, I would I would ditch it and I'd get a better harmonica. I think it's going to be harder to learn how to bend on this instrument. So overall, it's fine. The design is okay. The sound feels a little muffled, but it's not terrible. The bends are doable but very difficult, I'd give it a 4 out of 10. Before we move on, if you're a beginner learning how to play the harmonica, then it's really important that you develop a practice routine that actually moves you forward on a daily basis. This is what I go over in my free harmonica accelerator workshop, which you can access by clicking the link in the video description. It's totally free. Check it out. Moving on, I want to start covering the next price tier up of harmonicas because most of these $10 harmonicas are really just carbon copies of the ones that I've just shown you. I wouldn't expect anything good to come from $10 harmonicas, and I think I can confidently say that now. But let's move up to the next price tier, which is around $25. All right, the next harmonica I have for you is the East Top 008K. I've had this for a while, and I've gotten some decent use out of my East Top harmonicas. I've never done any setup on it, so this should be very similar to your experience getting an East Top harp out of the box. So first of all, the East Top harps come with these soft zipper cases. These are the same kind of cases that come with high-end harmonicas like the Honer Crossover. So getting one of these cases that you might actually want to use with a cheaper harmonica is totally a win. Next, let's talk about build quality and comfort. First, I don't like the paint that they use on the cover plates on these harmonicas. It tastes weird. They do sell variations on this harmonica that use a standard metal cover plate and I would go with those because the ones that they have that are either black or dark blue the paint just tastes funny and there's probably some bad chemicals in there and I just generally wouldn't do that if you have the option as far as comfort with these harmonicas I do have some issues I find that there are very sharp edges at the corners because the reed plate just extends all the way to the corner and I think it's a bad design it could definitely cut your mouth it could definitely pull out some beard hairs so I I think it's kind of problematic and it is something that uh, kind of ruins this harmonica for me in some ways because I just won't play this. I cut myself one time um, on stage and I just don't think I would do that again. So the design here is okay. It's still a very standard design, but I would say just because of the comfort issues, this is worse than the last two harmonicas I reviewed. The redeeming part of this instrument is that it actually plays really well. So check it out. All right, this one's actually a good harmonica. I've compared this to other harmonicas in my previous videos, and I would say that the East Top sounds better than most of the harmonicas that I own, which is really awesome. These are very airtight harmonicas, and they have a very good full sound. So 
as a instrument here, they're very solid. One big downside that I have experienced though is that I find that the reeds seem to get stuck much more frequently than the other harmonicas that I play. My technique is pretty good at this point. Like I rarely get my reeds stuck, but for this harmonica, this is the exception and they get stuck pretty frequently. And I'd say this has been consistent for all of the harmonicas that I've gotten from East Top. So overall, I'd give this about a five out of 10. Playability, this is the real deal, but with some sharp edges, bad painted cover plates and reeds that stick often, all those things really knock it down a couple of points for me. Playability wise, I'd give this like an eight or a nine. So for that reason, this is much better than the other harmonicas we've looked at. But overall, I would say it's about a five just because there's a lot of negatives. The next harmonica I have for you today is the Kongsheng Amazing 20. You can get this harp for $25. Oh, they don't have it on Amazon. So you got to go over to a site like Rock and Ron's if you're in North America and pick one up from there. So this is a knockoff of the Honer Special 20, but there are some differences in the design that I really like. As an example, this harmonica has rounded corners, which is great. You're not going to cut your face on this harmonica, which puts it in a league above the other harmonics I've covered, at least as far as comfort. So everything feels good so far. Quality wise, this harmonica feels a little bit cheap. Like it's a little light. It just doesn't feel super premium, but it's okay. So I would say even the Blues Deluxe feels a little bit better than that, but I would take the rounded corners over like a subjective feeling on quality any day. Sound wise, I think this harmonica is pretty good. So I checked it out earlier. The chords sound good. <laughs> Not bad. This harmonica also is relatively airtight. I can't get the last blow bend, but everything else plays pretty well on this thing. I think that's pretty good. Here's a little bit of the blues. This, in general, I think has a similar feeling to most harmonicas at the $45 level. So if you're looking for a functional harmonica and you just don't really care about getting anything special, you just don't want to spend a lot of money and you want to get one that works, then this is the first one today that I would say isn't a bad option. I'd give it a 7 out of 10. $25. Can't really go wrong. The final harp that I want to cover today is the Kongsheng Baby Fat. So this harmonica is also $25, but you can probably tell it's a little bit different. It stands out because it only has seven holes in comparison to the normal 10 holes of a standard diatonic harmonica. Now this may seem very limiting at first, but if you play mostly in second position, then I think a lot of players go a long while without ever playing those notes in the high octave. Without those extra holes, this ends up being a much smaller harmonica, which I personally really like. It's comfortable to hold. The cover plates are really nice. It feels good in your hands. And this is like the easiest harmonica to cup. <laughs> which is really cool. I think it has a very good sound when you use it with wah. Design-wise, this harmonica is great. I really like the feeling of the cover plates. The painted covers usually bother me, but this one is not bad. The comb is really good. Like this is a solidly built harmonica. Sound-wise, I think it's pretty good. This is a country tuned harmonica, so some of the chords might be a little bit different, but here are the chords first. <laughs> All right, pretty good. Now the tuning is fine. So that's already a bar that we've passed. The notes are nice and clear. Playability wise, this is definitely the best harmonica that I've covered so far today. It just plays really well. It feels very good to me. The bends all work very well. It feels very airtight. I think it is really solid. So this one is in country tuning and I got it a few years ago, but I, I gotta say just because of its unique size and feeling, I do pull it out pretty often. This is a great harmonica to just slip in your pocket. It's so tiny, it's so cheap that you don't really need to worry if it gets messed up. I think it's really good and I definitely would recommend this to you, though it is limiting not having those top three holes. I wouldn't make it your only instrument 
and for that reason. I mean, missing those holes does limit you on an instrument that already feels limited. But again, as I said, if you play in second position, you can leave those notes out most of the time and still have fun. They also offer this harmonica in a variety of alternate tunings. So if you want to try out a different tuning, you can get a baby fat and use that as your step into that new way of playing the harmonica. So in general, I really like these. I've liked them for years and uh, I'd give it an eight out of 10. For $25, even though it's limited, this is probably the best harmonica that you can get. So if you want to see what a really expensive harmonica sounds like, then I want you to click up here where I review the Arkea Signature, which is a fantastic harp. You should definitely check it out. I'll see you next time. Peace.